Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Catherine's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps it will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alien age. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that How and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as How's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble. But we should keep her close, all the same. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Anora would secure the succession. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. 
Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Olesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. What do you need? Ask away. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear Howe's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thetis. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lass, and very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me, but they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the Darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one, and with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between Blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them, and it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Got it. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne.
That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kaelin, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kaelin as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? Whatever will give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy! I... suppose. I don't know how much of a leader I am, but... at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange, I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still, thank you. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do and little time. My hearing must be going. I could swear you just said that Alistair and Honora agreed to marry. Of course, but I hardly imagined that you could convince her so readily. I am impressed. This alliance can only help us. Well done, my friend. We need to do all that we can in the few days left to us before the lands meet. Thunder Humper. 
Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Yes. If you're going in the alienage, watch yourself. There's nothing but thieves and brigands in there. What do you need? I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. Where are your people yeah, being put by building this place from Someone's refugees. coming! Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. I'm fine. Please don't talk to me. You'll only attract their notice. What a gorgeous tree. How can you I be wonder here? Old. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's wrong, Shen? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though, all the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. They won't just let you in. Well, just be careful. Those men are mages. Hold. This place is full of plague victims. No one enters. To arms! Protect the hospice!
Help us, please! We're not sick! Let us out of here! Thank you, friend. They took him away already, through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. You don't have to say that twice. There's no way I'm going near mages. <coughs> Who's there? Stay away! I can't say nothing. Please, just go. I don't want trouble. I don't know, I swear. I only saw them take people away. Took them right out of their beds. Drag them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. Through the landlord's old office. They go in there, they never come back. I saw him. They marched him through the hall with a bunch of others, all tied together like pack mules. Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please, just go! Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I'll get on it. So you can get off my back. We might want to walk. Oh, shit. Got it. Right away. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? What's this? Another shipment already? Do we want? Wait, you're no Tavinta. Who are you supposed to be? Oh no! I heard of you! I attack! meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. You simply fought your way in here to ask questions, did you? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. You Fereldans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to acquire new blood? 
These slaves will fetch an excellent price in the Imperium, and we're paying handsomely for this opportunity. You can't just take people from their homes and... and sell them. It's despicable. But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. I am no fool. I can see that you are capable. So be it. I will let Caladrius deal with you while I fetch the Regent's men. I suggest you leave while you still can. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. And you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. Are you certain you wish to commit such rash action, Grey Warden? Look around you. Surely, we can reach some kind of compromise. <sighs> Pity. Looks as if we shall have to settle this the hard way, then. My apologies. Something is coming. Seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. Wait! Hear me out, dear lady. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than Happy to do this little service for you. Little service? He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. Most wise. Uh, then, um, I don't suppose you would consider just uh, letting me go? Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? You don't look like a Tevinter. Not that it means much. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? 
Luciani? Did she send you here? Praise the Maker! We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? On my way. Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Sir Otto. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. In my time in the alienage, I've come to feel there is something sinister at work here. What exactly, I know not. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. <laughs> Now's better than later. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? has eyes. But Grandma called. What's a girl to do? Have to be a good girl. Have to be bad men. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. What have you found? There's been no fighting in the alienage recently. Which means the blood is not congealing. I suppose there could be some explanation for it. Hmm. That's by the orphanage, right? A sad place. Did you find anything else? I'll report that at once. I've heard such afflictions can spread. Even from a corpse. I suppose someone may not have known that. One odd thing I am willing to believe. But two is no coincidence. Let's head to the orphanage. Both of your clues were near there. The feeling is intense here. This is the right place. I know not if it's the work of the Maleficarum, but there is definitely evil here. You go first. I will follow. 